Kramer, estamos aquí con Al Hope, director creativo de Alien Isolation. Vamos a hacerle unas cuantas preguntas. How are you all? Hey, that's me. So tell us, um, you said that this game is very inspired on movies or, um, of sci-fi, but all sci-fi. Can, what can you tell us about it? Uh, so Alien Isolation is, is very much um, inspired by the, the first Alien film. Um, you know, this is This is the, the alien game that we've always wanted to play, um, a game that actually takes you back to the, the roots of the series, back to really, really Scott's haunted house in space. I think games based in the in the franchise previously had, had really been inspired by the James Cameron experience of aliens, so pulse rifles and marines and, and lots of aliens, um, and that's really cool. Uh, but we wanted to do something completely different and take take a completely different approach where just one alien could be really terrifying yeah. and, and, and really scary and, and really meaningful uh, to the player. Yes, talking about that, uh, one of these features of this game is to make the, the alien really hard, really difficult to beat, almost impossible, like, I see, <laughs> you know. How can you manage to do this? Um, so like I said, we really want to make a scary game um, to really re-establish the alien as this kind of ultimate killer and we realized really early on that if If you could predict what it's going to do next, from moment to moment, then you wouldn't get scared of it. Um, and so we took the decision to let the alien just use its own AI to drive its behavior. So it's, it's, it's using its senses to, um, to make its decisions. So it's looking and listening for the player and for the world, you know, events in the world. And what that means is every action you, have, you take can influence the alien's behavior. And every single encounter Therefore, it can be different. Um, no, no two playthroughs are the same. I think that's, that's kind of the, one of the magical things for us is you know you have a whole whole group of friends play the game and everyone's going to have a different story. Everyone's going to have a different journey as to how they survive. Oh, yes. So you can say that this game is more focused on survival and construct things than any other game. That yeah. So, games. so, so you know, again, we really wanted to to really. Uh, Again, we're really inspired by the first film. You know, it, it's about so alien isolation is very much about survival. It's not about killing. We don't give you any tools or weapons to actually kill the alien. Uh, we're just trying. We just want you to, to use your instincts um, to, 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 to to actually try and you know, ultimately survive. I mean, that's not to say you, you know you're, you're powerless. You know, you have this amazing game of cat and mouse with the alien and with the other entities in the world. Um, but we we do give you um, some choices as to how you survive. So. Uh, for every encounter you have different approaches, so you can evade, you can try and make sure you're not seen, um, you can distract, you can use uh, a variety of tools to, and, and devices in the world to, um, to, to, to distract um, the alien or the, the human survivors or the and androids, um, you know, allowing you to bypass, bypass any confrontation. Mm -hmm. Or, if you want, you know, it's up to the player, you can try and confront things head on, you, know, you have some you know, offensive weapons, Um, it's massively high risk, you're going to make a lot of noise, you're going to bring a lot of attention to yourself, but it is possible and maybe in a, sort of, as a last resort you might, you might take that decision. But I think the, you know, the really interesting thing is moment to moment we're, we're asking the player to, to, to uh, figure out the best strategy as to how to survive. Alright. Um, related with the movies, in which period uh, the history of this game is located? So, Alien Isolation takes place 15 years after the events of the first film, so 15 years after the Nostromo goes missing. Um, when Yutani believe that someone's found the black box flight recorder of the Nostromo, so they send a, a really small crew to simply go and retrieve it. Um, Amanda Ripley, who is the, the character that the player plays as, um, is the daughter of Ellen Ripley, um, who's been searching for answers as to her mother's disappearance her entire life, uh, volunteers to be part of this really small crew. Obviously, when they get to the space station, things don't go out, go down as, as planned, um, and she gets to confront the, the horror that separated her from her mother in the first place. Oh, right. So, what could you say that are the most valuable lesson that you have learned from from the movie, the first movie from Alien, to translate to to this game? I think one of the you know, so Ellen Ripley is you know the heart of of, of, the, of the franchise of the of the universe, and I think. You know, one of her greatest qualities is her ability to, to, to think under pressure. You know, I think the other crew members of the Nostromo um, uh, have their flaws and they die by their flaws. 
whereas uh, she is able to continue to strive and struggle to survive under enormous pressure. And I think that's kind of what we're asking the player to do is, you know, under enormous pressure, moment to moment, can they, you know, can they, can they keep it together? Can they come up with a plan to, that will enable them to survive? And I think that's kind of one of the kind of great, that's the kind of essence of the movie. And that's what we're trying to, to, to put into the game. Oh, excellent. Well, that's it all. And thank you very much. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you.